I am Erika. And I am Rebel. And together we are Mango Luna. What's up? So we are here at San Antonio's very first Veg, Veg Fest. Fest. Yes, and Erika, what do you think? I love it. I like this coconut a lot. <laughs> She's been carrying it for like two hours. It's really good. So you coconut water. Yes. Stay hydrated today. But um, no, I love it. It's freaking amazing. I didn't think I'm going to have a quesadilla with chorizo, y queso, y aguacate, y jalapeños. And then there's, I mean, there's everything. Gluten free or not. And alchemist. I mean, you have from the face, every, I mean, everything. So it's pretty fun. And it's very, I heard um, they had to go by even new wristbands because you guys right now yes it was amazing yes it's been really busy really beautiful um attendance mm -hmm. um you know a little bit of road bumps you know along the way which is you know goes to say it's like anything new anything you're doing for the first time um you know you're gonna have some kinks and we're working through them and we're having a great time so let tell me tell the mangos like how do you feel about like plant-based diets or eating vegetarian and vegan and you know tell us a little bit about your journey around that honestly I didn't do that until I met you <laughs> I just introduced me to that um, but actually I'm very surprised that the flavor is not missed mm, when eating yes. um, gluten-free and vegetarian um, even vegan like the vegan queso that you make in La Botanica that's yes. freaking amazing you. so it's uh, you know it's it's a great change but you don't feel it as much. You don't miss the flavor because the flavor is there. There's some places they don't have any flavor, right? But I know that the ones I've tried here in La Botanica, I know how much. Sound like I'm totally going for that, anyways. <laughs> no, yeah. So it's it's been a good, a good uh, batalla, right? Like a little battle with myself because I always want to have the meat, right? Like I need some kind of chicken or I need this, I need that. But um, it's been a nice change and to learn about the broccoli. The broccoli has protein and how. Uh, Garbanzo, I can like so many ways that I can get uh, protein without just getting the soy. It's been pretty neat. Yeah. yeah, and I think right now it's such an important like uh, time to really talk about um, veganism, not just around like not what it really means, you know, to be uh, plant centered in your diet and even just in your thinking, mm -hmm. you know, because we have the Amazon is on fire and a lot of that is, is done because of deforestation yes. because they want to uh, raise more cattle to have, you know, so that people can have hamburgers. Um, and yeah. so it's really important for like climate change and for, you know, the, the future of this planet and for indigenous tribes that we really do choose to eat more fruits and vegetables yeah. and get away from it. Um, you know, in taking a lot of animals. So I think right now there's like a huge search for it, which is so needed because we have to do it if we're really going to change. And, you know, I'm not here to tell you like, don't ever eat meat and like you're terrible if you eat meat. Yeah, like, no, and feels, no judgment. No like, it's just a matter of like, you know, really thinking about it and being responsible um, with your money and your actions. Yeah, and even the not eating meat once a week helps so much. That's absolutely from you, right? Absolutely. Save yeah. so much water. Once um, a week. Yeah. You know, also just like thinking about people who pick your food, you know, plant your food. Um, you know, a lot of farmers go out of business because people are, for, for cattle ranchers, um, instead of like growing more vegetables because there's not as big of a demand for it. So like even small farmers are going out of business, but if we were eating more vegetables, that wouldn't be the case. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the workers making sure we're like, you know, part, a big part of, you know, uh, veganism is also like making sure like people who are picking the fruit, people who are working They're in these factories, care. yeah, are, you know, yeah. are treated, so just you taking know. care of people all around. Yes, and yes, Supporting yes. locals and all that kind of stuff. Yes. So and it's good karma that comes back to you. Why yes. not, right? By supporting that, Good karma comes to you, you know, yep. so it's a win-win situation. Yeah. Yes, so we love you. If you're in San Antonio, come to La Botanica and have some vegan food with us. Yep, yep. Um, there's so many, there's other places as well in San Antonio. Go look them up in your in your town, in your state. And make sure to support the, what you support. Yes, of course. And uh, we love you. And we're going to sign off here at San Antonio's very first Veg Fest. Yay, bye. Go get one of these too. Yes. It's really good. Like us, love us, follow us, share us. Yeah. <laughs>